The Blue Ridge Escarpment This map shows where the Blue Ridge Escarpment is located in relation to Blacksburg, where many enjoy family-friendly hiking, as well as breathtaking scenic views. The Blue Ridge Escarpment runs from Waynesboro, Virginia, down to the Great Smoky Mountains of North Carolina. Its steep height has earned it the name, the Blue Wall, from the Cherokee Indians. This section of the Blue Ridge Escarpment in Floyd, Virginia, lies at about 2,800 foot elevation. It offers some of the most dramatic views of the parkway. The escarpment is, is sort of a mysterious feature in the Appalachians in the sense that we don't know what, what brought it or its ancestor into being. This great escarpment continues to mystify scientists. Why? Because 300 million years after its formation, and 200 million years after rifting, this monstrous blue wall is experiencing an ongoing retreat. Welcome to the Blue Ridge Escarpment, where you can see the clear divide between the mountainous Blue Ridge Province and the rolling foothills of the Piedmont. The Blue Ridge Escarpment overlaps the Eastern Continental Divide and directs where water will flow. Right now, I'm standing on top of the Eastern Continental Divide, which is also on top of the Blue Ridge Escarpment. On this side of the divide, everything will flow to the Atlantic Ocean. On this side of the divide, everything goes to the Gulf of Mexico. Now, interestingly enough, this feature isn't constrained by rock strain. Typically, features like mountains are formed after the softer rocks are eroded away over time, leaving behind the harder rocks. This great escarpment bypasses this rule. The escarpment exists because the upland is preserved by resistant siliciclastics of the valley and ridge, as well as the Appalachian Plateau while retreat of the Eastern Continental Divide keeps the topography of the escarpment rugged. Great escarpments originally formed near faulting at continental rift margins. The location is shaped due to crustal processes rather than surficial. Once active rifting has ceased, escarpments are shaped by erosional processes which cause them to retreat away from faults. Our current understanding of how the Blue Ridge Escarpment formed is based off of other great escarpments. One of the best analogs is located in Australia. The Australian Great Escarpment is one of the most studied in the world. It is 2,200 miles long and is currently experiencing ongoing retreat. Through studying the geomorphic and evolutionary processes, we can better understand the Blue Ridge Escarpment. The major difference of the Blue Ridge from other Great Escarpments is the 200 million year delay in retreat. In the case of the escarpment, the steepness comes from streams carving into the rock very, very quickly. In fact, so quickly that the weathering of the rock can't really keep up and make that topography gentle again. One possible mechanism for retreat is stream capture. Once one river intersects another and captures it, the old bed is abandoned. Evidence for this mechanism can be found in abandoned stream beds, which leave behind well-rounded pebbles. Prince's research revolves around how stream capture could play a fundamental role in the escarpment's ongoing retreat. This figure demonstrates how the Roanoke Valley looked in the past before capturing Crab Creek and how it may look in the future. It means that, that something happened tectonically in eastern North America much more recently that, that we don't know about. And a lot of research into the escarpment has been directed into understanding whether it does indeed represent this very old rift flank or uh, whether it represents something much younger. It may be a long time before we fully understand the driving mechanisms of this great escarpment, but from what we do know, we can continue to apply our understanding from other great escarpments in hopes of understanding this unique and beautiful feature. <laughs>